ASC 61850 IED Smart is a 61850 server simulation tool. It also has the capability to do Goose publishing and subscription. So in this video, I would like to highlight the basic capabilities of the, of the tool uh, by opening a sample project provided along with the installation. So to open the sample project, browse to the toolbar. You can either go to the menu option or choose the second option under the toolbar. You need to browse back to the IED Smart folder under documents. Browse to the sample projects. Further go to the example. Then you will see the example project with extension SPJT. So this is the file extension of IED Smart projects. It will give you a pop-up to attach the IED which is the sample IED with the respective network card of the PC. So for that, you will have to click the rectify button, the first button in the option. It will list down all the network cards of the PC or the laptop. You may choose any one of them based on your need. In this case, on this laptop, I have loopback adapter, which is Microsoft, and also the real tech network card. So there are two network cards available on this PC, and the remaining are virtual machines. So you make sure that you don't select the virtual machine network cards because that may not be the one you want to choose while performing a simulation. The tool will also list down all the IP addresses on the machine. Based on the need, you can attach the IED to any one of the IP address. Network card ID will be used for the simulation of GOES for both reception or sending of the GOES. IP address will be used by the 61850 server simulation. The client, external client devices will be able to see this IED at this IP address. So during this video, I will use the loopback adapter and the respective IP addresses. Click OK to select the IP address. Certain log messages will appear indicating that IED is loaded into the project. You can expand the tree and find the IED under the project. This is a configuration with one logical device which has the name Calcitech 1. It also has multiple logical nodes with data sets. The project is also included with sample scripts and sample simulations. First, I will explain how the IED configuration is done. Right click on the IED under the project and browse to view edit configuration. If you click on that, you will see the SCL file path of the IED. In this case, the ICD file has got name calcitech.icd. And also, you can see the IED name, access point name below that. Further, there is a report scan rate 
option available. So tool will scan for the data changes in every specified interval. So in this case, it is two milliseconds. So that means tool will keep on checking for data changes in every two millisecond. And that will be available to the external client via reports. Here you can see the IP address selected for this IED and also the network card. An IED identifier is a name under the project for easy identification of the IED. So in this case, IED name matches with the IED identifier. And there is an option to create multiple instances of this IED. In this video, we will stick to the basic simulation. So I will explain these options in, a, in another video. Click on next to see some of the advanced options of the IED. In the sample scenario, we, are, we have not selected the Goose publishing and subscription capabilities. So the sample project by default will run with client reporting capabilities, communication services, and other logging options. It will not by default enable the Goose publisher and subscription. But at any point of time, we will be able to select this box and enable these options. So I will take you to the display options of 61850 variables. You can select the logical nodes to see all the data points under it. There are two primary views provided to display the variables. The first one will be populated based on the selection on the left hand side explorer. Based on the change in the selection, the data points listed on the right hand side will be changed. So for any reason, if you would like to see different set of variables, you can simply click on the logical nodes or the required scope. Below is the watch variables. If you are interested in seeing the seeing a few data points all the time, you can assign those variables to watch window so that it will the view will persist as long as the window is open. There is another option called global watch window. It will pop out and will be a separate viewing option. Further, you could see the data sets. Values under the data sets can be browsed. And there are multiple scripts in this example. Scripts can be edited in this tool using certain functions. Details of the scripting has been provided in the user manual. So if you are interested in making advanced simulation using scripting, you may browse through those functions and familiarize with that. There is a simple simulation option which is configured using comma separated values. So in this sample simulation, you can see three 6150 variables are simulated with multiple values. So these values will be applied at an interval specified on the bottom left corner. It can be either made cyclic or we can specify the number of iterations 
under which the simulation to be executed. So let us run this IED and see the simulation. So there are different options to trigger the simulation. The simulation can be auto started along with the start of the IED or it can be started on a based on the demand from the user. That means it can be started using a mouse click. I'll keep it under auto start for the simulation. Similarly, scripts also can be auto started by default those are kept under auto start i will change it to start on demand so that we can see them one by one i'll browse to the top and select the ied and start the simulation could see below that the IED has been started and it has been associated with IP address 10.0.0.1 which was the configuration available or selected it also started the reporting service And since the simulation was auto started along with the start of IED, you could see that these values are changing. These were the three values available under simulation. So the values are getting applied based on the inputs provided. So these values are applied at a periodicity of five seconds. So it will be continuously simulated and if the clients connected to this IED, those clients can receive reports with these data changes. There are some scripts available in this example. So let us see some of the scripts and try to understand the same in this simple example it will monitor the voltage of the circuit and it will also trigger the protection signal so over voltage condition will be detected and under voltage condition also will be detected by the script and based on that the PTOV and PTUV this operate and start will be triggered the condition is specified as greater than 234 voltage for over, over voltage condition and less than 228 for under voltage condition script functions can be familiarized by looking at the manual provided here under help topics. I am not getting into the details of the script. So there are certain functions which will help you to get the handle of the 6150 variable. Once the handle is obtained, certain functions like write variable or read variable can be invoked this is a normal vb scripting engine provided with the tool so by using this programming method any logic can be built and respective simulation can be achieved so let us run the simulation and see the behavior to execute a script manually 
right click on that script and click on start so based on the simulation you could see that under voltage condition was detected so it has triggered this under voltage operation as the voltage go high to 234 the programming was done in such a way that it will detect a power voltage condition so let us see how that is triggered So the simulation is set at 234. We could also have other simulations executed along with the same script. So the detected conditions are listed under the log file so as soon as the voltage or current varies we can trigger the script to detect a condition and generate respective value changes